Hi, my name is Alex. I'm 18 years old and I'm studying engineering in Flinders University in South Australia. Last year in 2023, I won the overall prize in the Royal Adelaide Show using this project, the Smart Irrigation System. One of the major problems in watering systems, both in homes and on large farms, is that our leaks can cause crops to die and also waste a lot of water, which costs the farmers uh, more money. And especially here in South Australia, uh, water can be a scarce resource. Another issue is that um, different parts of the soil can have different moisture levels, which have to be managed. I've solved all of these issues using my invention, uh, the Smart Irrigation System, which uses RunLink. Um, so this system has multiple sensors as they're able to detect the pressure of the, price, of the pipes and it's able to detect leaks by detecting changes in pressure. So if you have a high pressure pipe that's running water all over the farm, it's kept at a constant pressure and you have a leak, it's gonna, going to drop the pressure. And my system can detect this and it automatically shut off the system and also notify the farmer in case there's leak. It's also able to detect blockages in pipes by detecting an increase in pressure. And it also has a lot of um, moisture sensors, which can also detect the moisture in different areas, as well as if it's been raining. So this system runs off RunLink, which is this chip in the corner here. And it connects to all these sensors. So I have a pressure sensor here, a rain sensor, and two capacitive soil moisture sensors. So these sensors will be placed all around the farm in different areas. So you can have an idea of uh, which areas are getting water and which areas aren't. And it also has two zones represented by these two solenoid valves. And if one area has a leak but the other area doesn't, it's able to run off just one valve until the other area is fixed. And I can actually do a demonstration using the RunLink website. So this system is also able to broadcast data over the internet to the farmer so it can remote, so you can remotely monitor your watering system from anywhere in the world and also get notifications of leaks from anywhere in the world. So right now I'll look at that. and press the start button. So right now the system's running. So this would be a normal situation. There's um, high pressure of water coming through the pipes, which is creating uh, jets, of, uh, jets of water or drops, depending on this type of watering system. And I have a secret valve here, which I can simulate a leak using. So as you can see, um, there's no water coming out of the regular Operator jets. Attention. Leak detected. Zone A. System and the zone, shutting down. And the zone automatically shuts off because it's detected the leak. And as you heard, may have heard there, it also has a voice alert, which is able to automatically um, notify the farmer. And yeah, so it's also able to detect blockages, which is a bit harder to demonstrate with my current system. Um, and a recent addition to this system is the Mariota antenna. So this um, modem connects to the satellites uh, so even if the system is in a very remote location, it can still transmit data to the satellite and come, it, that data then comes back through the internet to the farmer from anywhere in the world. Alright, this has been Alex Farmer with the Smart Irrigation System. See you at ITEX. Thanks Alex. Can you just Operating describe... Attention. Leak detected. Zone A. System that shutting down. Sounds good. Can you describe why you used RunLink for this project rather than something else? So the main use, reason I used RunLink is the coding is actually very simple. So it uses a simple uh, web interface with uh, coding fields. And I think this system only has around 50 lines of code. And if another system, it would probably use about uh, 2,000 lines of code or even more with the satellite system. Okay, thanks Alex, fantastic.